All right. Well, Chess, another really interesting podcast. I love that we do these because where else would we get to spend half an hour talking about anxious attachment style? And yet, as Jennifer Nurek goes through this, we go, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Am I, am I doing that? Or do I know people? And so, you know, always these become more about how we learn and, and we can grow from this. But yeah, first off, you know, anxiety at work, does this come into the workplace? Yeah. So why are we maybe acting some of the ways we are? You know, maybe we're a peacekeeper, but is it driven by fear? Maybe we're a mediator, but it's driven by our past. So are we being really self-reflective in who we are and how we got here? Yeah, I thought it was really interesting when she said, look, uh, the workplace is very much like the family dynamic. Like you say, you play your role. It's interesting. I'm uh, here. She mentioned being on holiday was important for her uh, mental health. I'm here on holiday in Palm Springs with my brothers, and I'm the youngest of five. And it's so funny when we get together. I am immediately the little brother. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, I know. And you're like in your thirties now, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, to be in my thirties again. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, and so it, it is really interesting. You automatically slot into that role where. Yeah. You know, I don't take the lead. I, I'm the last one to speak, you know, still the funniest and the most engaging, but, but <laughs> the last. The most handsome, you know? but yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. So that idea that then that does translate into the workplace that when yeah. her friend talked to her, she said, you know, this is the dynamic that you had with your father yeah. and you should maybe step back and instead of being the peacekeeper and the mediator, arrange for, you know, your, your, your fellow employees to go directly to uh, to the person, you know, I, I the other thing that I, I took away was this idea about being anxious about your partner, mm -hmm. and how that translates. Because you know, you and I have been partners for twenty five years. Hey. Um, we've got a relationship. If if things start to go a little awry, you know, or they're not showing up, or maybe they're not uh, talking as much, and and this idea of trying to mitigate that by being a pleaser really yeah. spoke to me. Oh, you yeah. know, this idea of I'm going to try to make everything just right. And I'm going to try to do my best to make everybody happy, you know, because I, I think both you and I can fall into that a little bit. Yeah. We want to be no pleasers. question. And, yeah. and, uh, and sometimes, yeah, that's not best for your business. And, and sometimes no, you need to be a little stronger. And so, so yeah, this was really insightful. I, I liked your points too, about, okay. So when we find ourselves falling into these traps, you know, she said a few things, first off, notice what's happening. Where is it hitting in your body? How does it feel? Then secondly, what calms you down, you know, immediately, like, do I need to take a deep breath? I know you like to go for a walk. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, my son, Anthony taught me six, five, four, where you kind of use all your senses, you know, touch five things, see six things. Yeah. And you bring yourself to the present when you're getting overwhelmed, which is a great thing. And then she said, finally, later, reflect on the trigger. Don't try and figure it all out in the moment because it's too hard to do right then. Yes, that reflection part I thought was so interesting. We we don't often take the time just to sit back and say, okay, so why was I triggered? What what happened there? And how can I be better prepared for it next time? Uh, so often we hear, you know, for your mental health is take a deep breath. She said, you know, go to the bathroom, go for a walk, take some time, sit down and say, hey, let me figure this out so that I'm better prepared for next time. I, I thought she was just a delightful guest with really interesting insights on those family dynamics you know a long time ago that, that yeah. creep into our our lives and our work lives and and we got to figure stuff out like that you know we do and we do and we want to thank you all for joining us today we want to thank our guest jennifer nurek we want to thank our producer brent klein christy lawrence who helps us find amazing guests and we want to thank all of you who listened in especially if you download the podcast that helps build our network We'd also love you to visit thecultureworks.com for some free resources to help you and your team thrive, including information about our best-selling book, Anxiety at Work, and our latest book, The Gratitude Habit. Yeah, and we're really excited to give you a special offer from Lit Video Books. Our, our book, Anxiety at Work, has been made into a 29-minute uh, video book. It's the latest and greatest way to learn. And if you're interested in learning how you can utilize Lit for your leadership development and employee growth, all you have to do is go to litvideobooks.com. It's L-I-T videobooks.com forward slash lit dash four dash teams. We'll put that in the show notes for you. 
and that's where uh, you'll fill out some some information. It'll say, "Tell us more about your interest." Tell them that Chester and Adrian sent you, and that way you'll get the author network discount. And you know, as my dad always say, if you've got to pay retail, you haven't got enough friends. So put in, tell them Chester and Adrian sent you, and get that author discount. We also love speaking in in uh, conferences and the companies. We do it all over the world, in person or virtually. We speak on culture. We speak on teamwork, resilience. You know, anxiety at work. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about your event. Well, Adrian, another great half hour together. That I'll give you the was. last word. That was, yeah. No, we are. I'm about to go to Madrid. Uh, Chester just got back from Dubai. We love uh, traveling the world, and uh, that's not Madrid, Idaho, or Dubai, Illinois. They are. <laughs> actually those places around the world and so yeah we'd love that give us a call and until next time we wish you the best of mental health